Sebastian Massey. Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Try From Japan, the video series where we look at all things Japanese. In today's episode we look at one of the most well-known, acclaimed and successful animation studios in Japan. A studio that has been producing animated features, shorts and commercials for over 35 years and has a cast of lovable characters that are becoming as recognisable as Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck are to many people. I am of course talking about Studio Ghibli, known as Studio Ghibli. In this two-part episode we will focus on the history of the company as we look at the creators, animators and features that have enchanted people across the world. Hayao Miyazaki was born in the town of Akibonacho in Bunkyo, Tokyo on the 5th of January 1941. Born during World War II, his family were evacuated from their home on two occasions due to bombing raids, and although a young boy of only four years old, the vehicles and sites of war would leave an effect on him which carried through to his early artistic endeavours at school. Taking an interest in manga, he discovered that he was not good at drawing people, but planes, tanks and battleships, however, were his more successful and preferred subjects to illustrate. He attended Toyotama High School, and it was in his time there that he saw the first colour anime feature film in 1958 called Haku Jiden, which is known as Panda and the Magic Serpent, or The Legend of White Snake. Based on a romantic Chinese fairy tale, this Japanese animated adventure follows the love affair between a boy and a magical snake goddess who turns herself into a pretty girl. When disaster strikes and the boy is killed by an evil wizard, the goddess desperately tries to bring him back. Unfortunately, every attempt fails, and she finds herself faced with a difficult decision. Miyazaki would fall in love with not just the animated style, but also the female heroine, leaving a strong impression on him, and his desire to create a moving animated picture that would invoke the same sort of emotions. After graduating from Toyotama, Miyazaki attended Gakushuin University and was a member of the Children's Literature Research Club, where he would focus on manga publications. In his free time, Miyazaki would visit his art teacher from middle school and sketch in his studio, continuing this until he graduated in 1963. The very same year he would be employed by Taui Animation Studio as an in-between artist, where he would complete the fill-in frames of movement animation created by the lead animators. Working on their 1963 feature Wanwan Shusengura, known as Doggy March, and the television series Okami Shonen Ken, known as Wolf Boy Ken. Miyazaki later worked as chief animator, concept artist and scene designer on the 1968 film Tayo no Oji Hiruso no Daiaboken, known as The Great Adventure of Horus, Prince of the Sun. During his time working on the film, he would meet the director, Aisao Takuhata, with whom Miyazaki would continue to collaborate for the remainder of his career. Under the pseudonym Ikitsu Sabure, Miyazaki wrote and illustrated the manga People of the Desert, published in 26 installments between 1969 and 1970 in Shonen Soju Shinbun. He would also provide tie-in manga series in local newspapers for two features the studio had created, 1969's Nagagutsu o Haito Neko, known as The Wonderful World of Puss in Boots, and 1971's Dabutsu Takarajima, known as Animal Treasure Island. He left Tai Animation in 1971 and was hired at APRO working with Iso Takahata, where he directed or co-directed 23 episodes of the anime television series Rupan Sensei, known as Lupin the Third, often using the pseudonym Turuki Sutomo. In 1972 and 1973, Miyazaki wrote, designed and animated two shorts directed by Takahata. Panda Copanda, known as Panda Go Panda, and Panda Copanda Amafuru Circus no Maki, known as Panda Go Panda, the Rainy Day Circus. Their biggest success up to that point would come in the form of a 1974 television series called Arapusu no Soji Heiji, known as Heidi, Girl of the Alps. 
created for the animation studio Zio Enterprises, which would later become Nippon Animation Company, and based on the 1880s novels by Swiss author Johannes Spyri about a young girl named Heidi who lives in the Alps with her grandfather. Miyazaki left Nippon Animation in 1979, and he moved to work for Telecom Animation Film and direct his first feature anime, Rupan Sensei, Kariosotoro no Shiro, also known as The Castle of Cagliostro, a film featuring the character Lupin III, who had featured in the 1971 television series for Apro. After this, he would return to manga writing and drawing for a monochrome in sepia-toned ink manga titled Kaze no Tane no Noshika, known as Noshika of the Valley of the Wind. It would run from 1982 to 1994. Following the initial success of Naoshiko of the Valley of the Wind, Yasuyoshi Takuma, the founder of Takuma Shoten, encouraged Miyazaki to work on a film adaptation. Miyazaki initially refused, but agreed on the condition that he could direct it. In 1984, the feature adaptation would be released to great success, and be the first instant Miyazaki would work with composer Mamoru Fujisawi, known professionally as Joe Hisahashi who would go on to compose piano scores for the majority of Studio Ghibli future projects. Aiso Takahata was born in the city of Yuji Yamada, now known as Issei, in the Mie prefecture of Japan on October the 29th, 1935. His father, Asajiro Takahata, was made chief of education in the city of Okiyama during World War II, and as such his family were caught in the bombing raids by the United States Air Force on the city in 1945. The bombing raid destroyed his family home, killing his mother and leaving them without a place of safety, a traumatic experience for anyone, especially a nine-year-old boy and it is thought this influenced his anti-war and peaceful life ethics which he maintained in later life and his creative work. He studied French literature at the University of Tokyo, and it was during his studies he saw a French animation titled La Rue et l'Oiseau, known as King and the Mockingbird, which set his interest in animation as a creative medium. However, his focus was in writing and creating animated stories, and not in the process of animating them. Shortly after graduating in 1959, he found a job as an assistant director at Toei Animation Studio. With his first credit on the 1961 animated feature Andrew Tuzoshimaru, known as The Littlest Warrior. Before working on Wanpaku Oji no Taji, known as Little Prince and the Eight-Headed Dragon in 1963 and then working on the studio's first television series, Okami Shonen Ken, known as Wolf Boy Ken, a project that he would work alongside Miyazaki, but not realise what a friendship they would soon make. His talents were noticed by director Yazu Otsuka, and he was asked to direct their next big feature, Teo no Oji Harusu no Daiboken, known as The Great Adventure of Horus, Prince of the Sun, the same big feature that Miyazaki was also working on as a key animator. It was on this feature their paths would cross and this friendship would blossom. However, the film performed badly and Takahata was demoted to storyboard director for the next few years, working on television serials including Jijiji no Kataro from 1968 to 1969, Himitsu no Akachan, known as The Secrets of Akachan, in 1969 to 1970, followed by Maretsu Ataro, known as Ataro the Workaholic in the same year, before leaving Tawei in 1971 alongside Miyazaki. He would then find some success directing on the television series Rupan Sensei, known as Lupin III, the same series Miyazaki was working on, and they would continue this partnership with the two Panda Co Panda shorts in 1972 and 1973. 1974 would find them working for Nippon Animation on the same Heidi series Miyazaki was working on. Nippon Animation were keen to keep him as a director on their television productions, and so he directed several more with Miyazaki's involvement, including Haheo Tazunete Sanzenri, known as 3000 Leagues in Search of Mother, in 1976. 
Mirei Shonen Conan, known as Future Boy Conan in 1978, and Akage no Anne, known as Anne of Green Gables in 1979, which would be his final series for Nippon, along with Miyazaki when they both left the same year. He would work on a couple of short features before meeting up with Miyazaki, who offered him producer duties on his big theatrical adaptation of his popular manga series Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Of course, he accepted this offer. And with the success of this behind them, he joined with Miyazaki in opening their own animation studio in 1985. Toshio Suzuki was born in Nagoya in Aichi Prefecture in 1948. In 1967 he enrolled at Kyoya University and graduated with a degree in literature in 1972. In that same year he joined Takuma Shoten. He was assigned to the planning department of Asahi Jino, an entertainment magazine where he was made responsible for the manga coverage page. In 1973, he became the editor of the magazine supplement Komiku to Komiku, a supplemental magazine focusing on manga and anime releases, where he would meet many directors, animators and manga artists. However, this was a short-lived supplement and he was reassigned to the performing arts section of the magazine. Not to his tastes, he left and found work as an editor on the monthly publication Taribirando. It mainly focused on own superheroes by the Tele Studios, such as Carmen Rider, Super Sante, and Metal Hero, plus Taui's anime works as well. In 1978, a new monthly magazine on anime features would be released called Anime Ju, and he would be assistant editor. He approached Takahata and Miyazaki, who had just worked on the animated film Horus, Prince of the Sun, for a feature article in the inaugural issue of the magazine, but they declined. Suzuki and Miyazaki encountered each other again after the release of The Castle of Cagliostro, when Suzuki again approached Miyazaki for an anime due article. This time the meetings resulted in an enduring collaborative relationship. Suzuki was among those who facilitated the creation and publication of Miyazaki's manga Noshika. He was instrumental in getting the Noshika anime made and helped establish Studio Ghibli after the film's 1984 release. In 1985, the president of Takuma Shoten Limited, Yasuyoshi Takuma, came to Miyazaki and Takahata with discussions on creating an animated studio that focused on films directed by both of the men due to their current success. Due to Suzuki's involvement in realising Naushika's appeal and influencing Miyazaki to adapt it into an anime, they looked to him to join forces and create a new studio that they would all be co-founders in. In June 1985, they opened a small studio in Kichijoji in the city of Masashino, and Miyazaki came up with the name Setujio Ghibli. The name Ghibli was chosen by Miyazaki from the Italian noun Ghibli, based on the Libyan Arabic name for hot desert wind, the idea being that the studio would blow a new wind through the anime industry. Thank you for watching this video. Please join me again soon for part number two where I'll be looking at the short films and features of Studio Ghibli. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video and until next time, arigato gonzaimasu!